That was celebration by my man, the game. Welcome back to Sports Unplugged, brought to you by the good friends at Miller Light. I uh, want to get into a very, very, very serious and uh, heartfelt situation over the past uh, weekend. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, and I'm going to be fair to the Cleveland Browns, suffered tragedies in their organization. The Cleveland Browns had a groundskeeper who committed suicide at the uh, practice facility of the Cleveland Browns. And in that same day, uh, Jovan Belcher, linebacker of the Kansas City Chiefs, murdered his girlfriend at home, uh, shot her multiple times, kissed her on the forehead after he shot her. They had been arguing. He shot her, came and told his mother he was sorry, and left the house, uh, proceeded to drive to the Kansas City Chiefs uh, facility, yep. and shot himself in front of Romeo Cornell and Bill Pioli, uh, uh, the GM, general manager, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. He, he thanked them for everything they had done, and then he killed himself. Now, a lot of rumors were going around about why they were arguing. Uh, I've heard some stories saying that he was upset with her because she came home late mm-hmm. from a Trey Songs concert. He, he thought that she was partying, hanging out with Trey Songs, mm-hmm. messing around with him. Also, heard rumors that the the night before he killed his girlfriend, that he was hanging out with a young woman. Uh, you know, parading around town with her. So a lot of stories, but at the end of the day, two people are going off this earth, and this little a three month old baby is an orphan. Is an orphan, right? Um, well, the reason why we bring this up because Jason Whitlock wrote a, a yeah. scathing article yeah. against the Kansas City Chiefs, saying that they should not have played the football game, and the NFL was wrong. Some things are more important than mm-hmm. uh, a football game. Bob Costas took to the air, yeah, backed, that, kind of backed what Jason Whitlock said and added, turned it into a gun control right, issue. Right, right. Uh, I applaud both of them for taking their stand. Hey, man, they have, they have the right whatever. to, to they say the right what they want to say. And I don't, I don't, I, just touch on that real quick is right. the backlash on that. I don't even understand what the, it's their airwaves. They can That's do what it, they want. They can do what they want. Now, you can disagree. You can disagree, but to say that they were wrong uh, and, say, and said, said Bob Costa should be fired, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. Go ahead. You're out of your mind. Everybody has a platform, and what you use your platform for is your business. You do now, your thing. If he just said something racist or crazy, I get it. But what he said. He just said if there was no gun in the house, no one would be dead. And then you could have a valid opinion and say, and well. You know, and you know, here in Chicago, that, that kind of that's, touches home. That takes us home. Yeah, it exactly. touches us home a little bit. Um, as far as what Jason Whitlock said about uh, Kansas City should not have played a game. Listen, I kind of look at it from a different perspective. I mm-hmm. was in the military for eight years, mm-hmm. and my guys who were in my platoon, who were in my unit, were everything. Mm-hmm. That was my family, right. so to speak. And in football, that is your family. That's your family. Those are 50 yep. guys you live and die with, yes. so to speak, for bad right, 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 right. in the trenches. Yeah. Now, when when the coach, the owner, they come to the team and say, hey, guys, I understand. Right. This is a messed up situation. Here it is. It's bittersweet. It's a catch-22. Mm-hmm. Here's a guy that we love, camaraderie, teammate. Mm-hmm. We fight for it. We fight. Even though we're not having a good season, we all go through this together. But he murdered his girlfriend, and he killed himself. It's a lot of it's a lot of emotion in this locker room. I'm pretty sure they were asked, do you guys want to play this Right. Game? And all of them, because this is what you're trained and conditioned to do. Mm-hmm. Let's go and win this one. And I'm not saying this was totally right, but this is the mentality. Let's go win this one for everybody that's involved. Right. And they play. They play extra. Nobody's going to tell me that they didn't play extra. Oh yeah. Hard. Jamal Charles probably had to be the most conflicted yeah. out of everybody on yep. that field because not only was Javon Belcher a friend of his, his wife's cousin was murdered by his friend, friend. who she introduced him. Yeah. So imagine how this man feels, and he still goes out and runs for over 100 yards and a score. He wept at the end of the game. Yeah. But so I, at, by Jason saying they shouldn't have played the game, I can't honestly say that I agree with that because sometimes that might take your mind off of it. Though. Right. And I think if you didn't do anything, guys got time to sit and reflect mm-hmm. on what happened, and you don't know what type of long-term effect that has on them. But for playing that game for two hours or whatever – they 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 use something, albeit negative. They use something to drive Kansas City to a win and bring a little bit of hope to that community. Right. As far as banding together, band of brothers, and that's just how I looked at it. But at the end of the day, two lives are gone. 
Right. Um, I had no problem with them playing the game. Mm-hmm. Um, I understand what Jason Whitlock was trying to say. Exactly. Um, my thing was, as long as the players want to play and the coaches want to coach, go ahead and play. That's it. Yeah. Um, we, we've both lost parents. Yeah. And I, I went right. To, I went right to work because you. I went to work the same day. Because if you just sat at home, I'd have drove it, it, crazy. It, yeah, it drove me nuts. And, and that's how I felt. Like when, when my when my dad died, I wanted to get right back mm-hmm. and go to work. The only reason I didn't was because of my mother. Right. Because my mother. That's all she knew was mm-hmm. my dad for 43 years. So I know I had to keep an eye on her, and I couldn't do that from my job. Right. So when my father was sick, I'm watching him die. I'm watching a man right. that I've loved and known for 41 years. I'm watching him decay right in front of my mm-hmm. face. He goes, why are you here every day? I'm like, man, Pop, you know, you, you need me to do anything. He said, man, listen, I had a great run. There are more people that listen to you every day. All my friends call me, ask me how I'm doing. The first thing they say, I listen to your son on the radio. So you getting up every morning and going down that radio is helping more people than it is helping me. Mm-hmm. And they, hey, look, man, I, I got cancer. It's going to win. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're at the point now. It's just about me being comfortable. I am. Your mom's here. You're cool. I, I see you when you get off work. Go to work, man. Mm-hmm. Talk to them people. And I couldn't wrap my mind around that. Here's this guy who's dying. Right. He's telling me, go out go to work. and make everybody else happy. I'm good, bro. Mm-hmm. So I think that's the mentality that the Kansas City Chiefs take. We got to play this game. Mm-hmm. We got to play this game for us and for the people of Kansas City. I also have a little different spin on that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, might be a little harsher, if yeah. you will. Uh-huh. Um, I just, even though... That's my teammate. You're saying that, you know, the guy's there. I'm conflicted because he murdered somebody. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He murdered his girlfriend, shot her nine times in front of her mother. Yes. Yeah. I, I, to- I totally get I, that. It's one of those things where I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm not going to take a game off because of that. You know what I'm saying? Because and, uh, and, and because of him. And you know like what I'm saying? said, they didn't. They didn't memorialize. No, 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 they didn't. Which is know. amazing. Which is great. They did. They did. They, they did. did, that did was the Kansas City Chiefs did everything right in my eyes. Yes, they did. I don't think we sit down. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Th- I think we continue to play. If I'm the owner of the team, I want my team to play. Leave it up to the coaches and the players' their decision. But I want them to play because I mean, you this shot? dude, this dude shot himself and killed himself and murdered. Now, Anderson now, now, now. Let me tell you this: Had he been in the car accident the day before the game? Or the day of the game, got in a car it accident. Different. Right, it's totally different. It makes it different. Then you, then I might say, hey, we might need it. A, could you remember? Um, was then Bob from Cincinnati? No, I'm not talking about that. I'm, we, let's go back. Let's go back uh, to the Charlotte Hornets. Do you remember yeah, when Phil, Bobby? When Bobby, yeah, Bobby yep, Fields died in a um, Malik, car accident. When Malik Seeley died, when the Minnesota. I, well, see, I remember that because the Bulls were supposed to play the Charlotte Bobcats, they canceled the game. Damn. And yeah. it was the day before they canceled the game. The game never happened. You, you know? know, I get, I get it, I get it. Brooklyn Nets, New York Knicks, you don't play the game. Yeah. Hurricane said a thousands, hundreds of thousands, thousands of people. Well, let's be play. honest. The only reason that they didn't play that game because people couldn't, couldn't get, get there. there. They couldn't get there. It wasn't right. because of the devastation. They they wanted to play that game for New York. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they couldn't get it because people couldn't get to the stadium. I, I, I just, I just, and, and like you said, yeah, it is, it is bittersweet. I mm-hmm. mean, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't know. At the end of the day, he, he murdered somebody. Yes. Mm-hmm. But we don't know my man's mind state. And it's just like if somebody told me, we're good friends. Mm-hmm. I consider us good friends. Right, like, right. I trust you around my kids. Right, right, right. You know, I give you keys to my house. Mm-hmm. I had to do something. Mm-hmm. If if I came back and somebody told me, you know, Ahmed killed his girlfriend and killed himself, mm-hmm. I'd be hurt because I know you as a person. Right. That's not in you. Right. As far as I know. Exactly. And I think I've known you long enough to say, that's No. You're right, something, something wrong. But you you murdered somebody. And right. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Mm-hmm. But to say I would take off work, no. Right. I'm going to go to work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It might be bothering me, but I'm going to go to work. Right, right, right. You know, and I, and I, it's just so sad. I just think I, I love the way Kansas City stepped up, though. They started a trust fund. Mm-hmm. The players themselves right. are going to put this money together so this young lady uh, this baby, up, yeah. yeah, she can grow up and have a, what, she needs. That, what she needs, a right. school or whatever. But it's it's just so sad. But let me ask you a question, and I may be reaching on this. Go ahead. Do you think, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, if they if they you know they do autopsies and everything else on Javon, 
brain damage, brain. Do you think it, it's part of the concussion issues? The, 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 or do you think Javon was just an unstable guy that had some mental issues that nobody checked to see? And what is this going to mean? For the NFL, are there going to be stringent tests? You do one delict test, you right? One delict test for quarterbacks, but no other position. See, do, you the, do that for any other. See, position? the thing, the thing, the situation, and I've thought about that, you know, and I and I was thinking, well, the only time we've heard about guys killing themselves and only themselves, they ain't killing nobody else. Is the, guy, the older guys, the guys have been the guys who've been retired. All defensive players too. Well, yeah, all defensive players, you know, because majority. They, yeah, ma- I won't say all, but majority. Well, defensive so, players. the ones that we've heard so far, Dave Dorsey and, and Jay Dorsey, say, say out. You know what I'm saying? Those are the ones that we know about. Yeah. You know, and and they killed themselves. They didn't kill anybody else. Right. You know, right. uh, so I don't want to jump to that conclusion. I'm gonna tell you what somebody thought. He said, he said, you know, look, I'm not even joking when I say this because I actually thought about like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know, maybe. I don't want to disrespect nobody, you know, or memory, but somebody said she might have given that package because you don't kill nobody for coming in late. Who who comes who kills somebody for coming in late? What's her mother there? But in the same instance, that that to me is a little that's that's a stretch. That's a stretch. You I'm just saying, listen, I, it doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. My, but listen, it, it don't make any sense. Listen, it didn't. Make, I don't know the guy. But can can we say this? It didn't make any sense when Chris Brown whooped Rihanna ass. He could have killed her in that car. Mm-hmm. You, you left her in a car unconscious. When I'm saying domestic violence, mm-hmm. domestic violence. Never makes sense. Never makes sense, and it has no limits of where it can go. Right. Because when it, it, you, we're talking about. They're saying there's no history of violence, though. That's the thing. I'm just like, you. They know. L- let's get this straight. That yeah. They know. Mm-hmm. You know, because I know some guys. You know, that I lost a lot of respect for when I found out what they were doing. They hit on that old lady, but she kept it quiet. Right. She never said anything till it was either too late. A jaw got broke or something very serious had right. to happen for her to get away. My cousin went through it. So what I'm saying is we don't know. Right. But, and I'm not going to judge Javon right. Belcher. I don't know the guy. But there is there is stories of him before mm-hmm. being mad at a, a girlfriend when he was at the University of Maine mm-hmm. and he punched through a glass window. And the police came to arrest him. He didn't hit her. Right. He punched through a glass. Just, aggra- just aggression. I'm just... Aggression. And in and, and this sport, in right. this sport, that's his job. His job is to unleash I no, aggression. I understand. On that. So I just, how do we get Leah, I'm, I'm just saying for me, to hear about what happened, to hit a woman, uh, yes. Yeah, I get it. But to shoot someone nine times. But how do you... How, that's nine what I'm saying. That's what times. I'm saying. This is where the mental thing... And then kissed her on the forehead. That's the, her mother and his mother were there. What so, are we doing? So I don't, I don't me, get, I don't so get it. So let me ask a question. To the point that... Could it be... I ha- something has to be wrong. So the point that the, what your boy said, if she gave him the package, mm-hmm. and why would he kiss her on the forehead? That would be rage. That right. would be rage. Bye-bye. For him to shoot her like that and kiss her on the forehead... There's something going on with him mentally that we don't know about. We don't know what it stemmed from. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, you know. I just remember because I, when I heard about it, I remember this, they showed the positive piece they did in the Kansas City uh, paper about his rise from uh-huh. how he came, and from came up free from free agent, yeah, getting on the team, and, and how much, and, like, like, and everyone loved the dude because he was just he was a hard worker. The linebackers Mexico. loved him. He was a brother. He's a starter, and I get it. I'm I'm just saying, will will the NFL start having more stringent testing on the mental aspects of players coming into the league now? Right. You know, like we say, you you quarterbacks take the one to look test to see what their mental capacity is, Mm -hmm. see what the breakdown, and the ones with low scores don't pan out. Right. Vince Young. Right. Low score, emotional guy. Right. Will we start doing this for all players now to see where their heads at? Like I know they get psyche valves, but how deep are we going to go now? Because there are underlying issues. There is. And then when you're running and slamming your head into somebody mm-hmm. every other down, those issues get compounded. Yep. And it's a lot easier to lose control. But very sad. Prayers go out to the Belcher family. Prayers goes out to Cassandra's family, the mm-hmm. young lady that he murdered. And prayers go out to that little three-month girl. Uh, we sending them up, man. I, I just, I, I'm speechless. It's, it's, the whole thing's crazy to me. And it's hard to wrap your head around because, like I said, I keep thinking about the dude shot her nine times. What yeah, the that's, hell? That's overkill. That's something else. That's crazy. That is something else. I, I mean, I, there's something to be, I don't understand domestic violence, but shooting someone nine times, something's up. That's what I think. When we come back, we're going to speak on what we got going. Uh, coming up, we have the rookie Q- QBs. Rookie QBs and college football news. And college football news. And I'm going to wrap it up with the winner of Miss Bumba.
Okay. I'll let you know about that. All right. That's coming up, man. What hey, the Sports bum, Unplugged. Bum. Hey, Sports Unplugged, brought to you by Miller Life. What are the color you heard of for? Is that the one fighting for your soul? Or your brothers the one that you're running from? But if you got money, forget the number.